All right, YouTubers, I thought I would go over my Asus ROG Strix B460-I gaming motherboard. Mini ITX. And before we actually look at it installed and, and talk about what's on it, let's look at the back of the box. So this shot will give you a little idea what it looks like before everything's installed, because that's what you're going to see. I actually lost my unboxing video where I would have done the overview excuse me, I lost my unboxing video, which I would have done my overview and let you know all about this. So now we're going to kind of see it in somewhat of a completed state inside of a mid tower. Yeah, um, why I went with the mid tower is another story since I have a mini ITX case here. But the mini ITX case is my test bench at the moment, so we went and used this. So there's the, uh, the mini ITX. We've got a uh, RX Vega 64 graphics card on here which uh, overhangs quite a bit obviously so maybe not an ideal choice for this but uh, it does work now inside of it I've got the Intel i3-10100 and uh, not a bad CPU I must say very powerful for an i3 things that uh, I will call out here obviously we've got two RAM slots currently uh, I've put 3000 megahertz RAM or it's either 3000 or 3200 we have uh, over on this side you have the 24 pin power connector that comes from your power supply these are all of your uh, front panel connectors and you can see behind it would be your uh, location for the speaker the little PC speaker if you got one with your case there's uh, four SATA, three connectors, your USB 3.0 that uh, comes from your case. All right. Over on this side, you can see the 2x4 CPU power connector. There's some uh, RGB uh, connectors down there. This is the connector for your CPU fan. And eventually I will uh, make this look a little better. I may even put the other Intel fan in that is a, a single uh, cable, or excuse me, it's it's they're all wrapped together as one cable. We have two uh, locations for SSDs. Of course, the top one would appear to be the only one that will work as an operating system. The one on the underside is the um, for storage, and I'll show you that to at the end. Of course, PCI Express. Uh, 3 by 16 supports the uh, the graphics card and then we've got other connectors down there that we'll talk about so this is the back side there is your other uh, location for a uh, solid state M.2 whether it be uh, SATA or NVMe alright so this should be uh, HD audio if I can move my finger out of the way that'll come from your uh, from your case this is a USB 2.0, which, you know, because of this design, uh, these are a little bit difficult to uh, get to without making a total mess. In between those is your SPDIF header. Okay, down uh, underneath here, you can just barely see it. Here's a location uh, right there for a case fan. And then over in this area is the, uh, the RGB. And real quick on the back, we have HDMI, display port, six total USB 3.0s, which is nice. None of these are uh, 2.0s. This is your uh, Type-C Charlie connector, and it has an audio Type-C connector. Antennas, um, this actually works pretty good without having the antennas connected, but uh, you should always put your antennas in. Ethernet. And then you can read the labels on the audio connectors. Of course, headphones, headphone and microphone is in there. There's a connector for a sub, rear speaker, line in. And there you go, folks. That's going to do it for the overview of this here motherboard. And I'll take a look at the uh, manual real quick for you. So this will be hard to get it to come out because uh, it's in a... Uh, They don't want to sit flat, folks. So if you're watching this on your 4K screen, hopefully you can read that. 
that is all the features of this motherboard. We may have missed a couple here or there, but uh, for the most part, that's what you got. So we'll zoom in a little over here. So you can look for the number you want to know in case I missed it. And then there is what they are. So, hey, thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.